giving the functions f of x is equal to x squared minus x ooh, plus 1. Let's redo that. So it doesn't look so squiggly. And then g of x is equal to x squared, ooh, excuse me, x cubed minus 4. Find f minus g of 3. So recall that when we're subtracting functions, in general, f minus g of x is going to be f of x minus g of x. So in this case, f minus g of 3 is going to be f of 3 minus g of 3. And so we have to find f of 3 and g of 3. Now f of 3 is just f of x up here with when x is equal to 3. So we replace all the x's we see with 3's. So this becomes 3 squared minus 3 plus 1. Right? And then for g of 3, it's the same idea. So g of 3 is g of x when, g, when x is equal to 3. So we get 3 cubed minus 4. So now we can just simplify and evaluate. So this becomes 3 squared is 9 minus 3 plus 1 minus 3 cubed is 27, right? Because 3 times 3 times 3 is 9 times 3, which is 27, minus 4. And then with PEMDAS, we do the parentheses first. So 9 minus 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7 minus 27 minus 4 is 23. And then doing the last step of simplification, we end up getting negative 16, right? Yes. So, in conclusion, f minus g of 3 is equal to negative 16.